Right, to find the x and y intercepts for the equation, then graph the equation. Now, the x-intercept is where any line crosses the x-axis. If it crosses this axis, wherever it goes, I mean, if I cross right, oops, let's, right there, I've just crossed it, 10. 10 is the x-intercept, okay? And if I cross somehow, let's have a look here, negative 5 would be the y-intercept, okay? So just bear that in mind, that's what they mean, let's just erase these. Okay, so let's have a look. Now then, so an x-intercept, an x-intercept is when you have nothing for y. Okay, so what's the x-intercept? What's the value of x when y is nothing? Okay, here we go. I'm going to put a big fat nothing there. All right, so 3x equals negative 6. Divide by the number next to the letter. Okay. Divide by the number next to the letter. That's a 3. Sorry. Okay. So, x equals, isn't that negative 2? If you divide both sides by the number next to the letter. Right. Negative 2. I am going to put that right there. Negative 2. That is negative 2, 0. It's an x-intercept when y equals 0. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Bit of a mess anyway. So... Right, now I'm going to do the y-intercept, which means the x is going to be 0, okay? That is a big fat 0, there's nothing left. Now be careful of this, remember it's negative y equals negative 6. If you want to think of that as a negative 1y, what you're dividing by, the number next to the letter, is negative 1. Just be careful of this one, alright? So, if that's gone... Y equals negative 6 over negative 1. Two negatives make a positive. 6 over 1 is 6. Okay? I get people making that as a negative 6. No, it's positive 6. So the y-intercept, no x's, where's that? That's about, that is there. Okay? And that's it. You've just found the two intercepts, the x and the y. Now, this is going to be hard for me. I can't draw this. But remember, try and draw the best straight lines you can. I mean, you can just join these two together in a straight line. But do remember, they do go on forever. I mean, that's not, gonna, that's not a very good one. Try and do as best you can. It's hard for me to do on the computer. Okay? But that's how you would graph that particular equation. Let's just erase it again. Okay, there it is. All right. So don't forget how, don't forget how to write the intercepts. Okay, so let's look over here. The y-intercept. Now, remember, it's that one. It's got to, people get this back to front. It's the one with the y figure. Right. 0, comma, 6. Okay, that's the ordered pair for the y-intercept. The x-intercept is this one. It's got an x-value. Negative 2, comma, 0. Okay, that's a 2. And that's it. So don't forget that. People get those back to front a lot. But that's the answer to all of that graph and the intercepts. There you go.